think we're all trying to figure out more and more ways to manage our energy and how to create the most of it. And there's some paradigm shifters that kind of can help us um, move into harnessing that power more. And the first one is kind of just managing our energy versus managing our time. I think you do a great job of that. You know, even just the the time of recording this podcast, it felt like we were more so thinking of energy. We got in all our prana rituals, these things that kind of help us become our best selves, like the sauna and cold plunge mm-hmm. that you have down there. And uh, yeah, I think oftentimes we can go off a clock and not really listen to our inner clock. So for me, managing my energy versus managing my time has been a huge principle. And obviously this takes, um, not everyone has this kind of freedom. You know, sometimes we have to show up at work at nine o'clock or we have to teach that yoga class. Um, But the best you can. I think if you're a morning person or if you know you're going to do some kind of fitness throughout the day, usually in the morning is better, you know, until you're tired after work at night. Um, What what is your experience with that? Yeah. What are some of your prana rituals per se? Right. Well, I mean, life is essentially just a combination of our time and energy, right? So it's Mm. like you could meet somebody who feels like they compress 100 years of activity and impact in the world in 10 years because they've cultivated that prana, they've cultivated that energy, and they've directed that towards uh, you know, a chosen direction in life. Yes. Um, and so I think everybody's, depending on where you're at in life, finding those practices to be able to wake up a little bit earlier, to find those things that really do charge you up and allow you to discover that vitality. Most people have no idea how good it can, they can feel within themselves, like the possibility of that. And I think once you start to taste that, once you start to feel that, mm-hmm. then you uh, can actually start to choose to make that more of an occurring present reality within your day. And so mm. finding those practices for me have been monumental. And it's like those things that we continually do that align sustain action like over a long time is going to actually give us the qualities of that inner reality. So mm. for me, for sure, you know, meditation, movement, um, breath work, hot, mm. cold therapy, yep. community, like a lot of these things are just so, so important for us to become at ease within ourselves. And I think that's ultimately what we're seeking. Like yeah. we want to have an easeful experience of life. Yeah. Yeah. Well said. I think that last part you touched on too, just like being heard and being seen and being around like-minded people and and cultivating community is a huge part of the path. And um, yeah, I know it's, it's, it's been a huge part for me of like creating um, the proper environment in order to kind of succeed. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of the great teachers speak to this of like, not only creating your, your physical environment, but like also around the people who are you surrounding yourself with, you know? Thank you.